Hey guys, okay, today I want to make um, the noodle um, soup with uh, beef, or you can use you know beef or pork, which is with the meat. I mean, so I'm boiling the water in here, really high temperature here, guys. So I'm going to use, I like maybe a, you know one and a half cloves of garlic there and I'm going to use this bowl because in the end when this cook I want to throw this thing with it and I'm going to I want it to be easy for me to uh, you know take it out from separate from the the water and I'm going to use this dry star anise okay you can use anything that you want this I bought at the time so it's cheap so well, I don't know how much I use, but I can see that I put throw it in there. Must smell good, guy. And I'm going to dry uh, cloves here. You can see. This smells good. See what I got here. And I'm gonna use uh, peppercorns too that I forgot. So I'm gonna use that much. I'm gonna need a bit more. So this one, I have to be careful here, close, maybe a little bit too much but it's okay. So when we're done with this, so we just, you know, throw it away, oh, this gap here guys. So I'm gonna dump this one in my boiling hot water. And then I'm going to I'm gonna use some salt. This and I'm gonna dump my big chunk of the meat that I'm cut. So maybe this one it uh, pork maybe five pounds. I'm gonna dump this one. This is one left over. That right there. And now we're going to add some seasoning, and I'm going to use this seasoning sauce here. This you, again, you, this uh, brand it. Uh, Golden Mountain, this is really good. This is my favorite, guys. I'm going to uh, I don't know. I'll we'll get some. It's kind of make like stew, but it's different than American stew. And I'm going to add thin soy sauce. Soy sauce. Okay. Probably more important is black soy sauce because we're gonna make the soup like black, all black. So this uh, kind of. <coughs> Excuse me, noodle soup. Really, really popular in Thailand, guys. Again, here I don't think that popular because it again it's a lot used a lot of time to cook, guys. This, this you want if you want you know meat 
to get really soft you have to cook at least two hours low temperature now I'm gonna close the lid so my my boiling water is still really high temperature so I'm gonna let it cook 30 minutes and then we're gonna pick out the pork and slice in small pieces and then we're gonna lower the temperature but I'm gonna be uh, turn off my camera right now so we'll, I will be right back when uh, 30 minutes okay guys so it will be 6 o'clock so I'll, I will be right back guys hi guys I just uh, took out the pork from the hot water in there so this have been 30 minutes and now we're going to cut into small pieces I'm pretty sure this uh, inside still not cook all of it but it's okay so I'm going to cut you want to cut any um, I don't know small as you want but this is not done yet we're gonna cook more like at least two hours okay to get more the meat softer you know So I'm gonna cut like that. See, it's not cook, not cook all the way, but it's okay. It this one have some fat too, guys. I loved it. So you're going to cut all of these. It's gonna be very difficult for me. You know that's why some of the restaurants here they're not selling this because it you know it's a long time cooking. But you know what, guys? It's everybody love it, guys. It's really popular in Thailand. That people, you know what, guys? You you know this food I usually never cook it because take a lot of time and why you cook it a lot of people sell on the street everywhere guys you know you don't have to cook you sit you know tired from work just buy it and then go to bed and sleep so this is not cooked but it's okay because we're gonna cook really slow temperature uh, really low like two hours sky at least in order to make the pork really soft You know when you move to live somewhere else, it's everything that you use to eat. You have, you know, you never make it, but you have to learn how to make it. This one of them guys. something you have to learn how to cook it otherwise you will starve right you know wherever you go you never going to get don't you never go you know change the way how you eat I forgot to add more sugar to add in in the soup. I will cut this off camera. I will be right back, guys. Okay, hey guys. I'm gonna do back up the meat that I cut in small pieces in here. I'm 
a low temperature until really, really low and cook about two hours. Okay, guys. And I forgot to add sugar, so I'm gonna add some of the sugar. Close the lid so we're gonna let this cook at least slow temperatures about two hours. I will be right back then guys. Okay. Okay guys, I'm back. So this I have been slow cook um about an hour but I'm I'm going to eat right now because I'm, I'm hungry guys. So but I'm gonna let it run one more hour or at long whatever before I go to bed I will turn off the stove but I'm going to show you how we eat with this um, uh, pork that we eat or you use pork or beef is okay to upload it fine but this one I believe I use pork so how I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys so this is ah uh, it smells good guys see this this one it doesn't I didn't put any um MST as well. And now we I'm going to mix and serve how to eat it, okay? Not how to eat, how to serve it. So I'm using this noodle. You guys can see here the fresh rice stick noodle. So they the same noodle that um you'd for make a uh, pad thai. It's the same noodle. Okay. This is the fresh one, it's better. So I'm going to grab some. It's not much, guys. It's going to be hard for the OC here. This is not, not much at all, a little bit. So I'm going to use this one here because it's a fun noodle. You can sing that one in there. We're just gonna cook. See, this cook really fast. That's it. So I'm gonna cook in there. I don't know if you want more, you could, but I think that's the good side for my husband. And I'm gonna get some of the meat. Gonna hang on a second, guys. Gonna get some. And I'm going to scoop some meat so as you can see it's, it's cooked but not soft and I like it yet so you're gonna scoop some of the soup and the meat in there Did the bean sprout here, guys? Very fresh one. I'm gonna cook in the water a little bit, not that long because you don't want to overcook this. The bean sprout here, guys. Again, I'm gonna use this. Sorry, guy, Cody, for his daddy. It's this coat, so see. Oh, sorry. Not sure what is that. So I'm gonna dump this one in here. And I'm going. 
going to um, sparkle with uh, cilantro here, guys, and green onion. So you guys can see, and I'm going to add some. This is a choy, this pork skin is just, just an option, okay, guys. Usually, you have people eat this with the uh, kind of noodles. So, right here, I'm going to add some there. And then you will serve with this pork in here. So, if you go to Thailand, you will see this on the table that this. Uh, Peanut then grey peanut and grey chili and sugar and then vinegar. So some people they eat like more sour, more sweet, more spicy or or, or everything add add it more. But this one is just uh, this one already tastes good. But some people they just add more stuff spice. So that's it will be served for my dinner. That's so good, guys. It looks so yummy and. I haven't eaten this a long, long time. You know, guys, this is um, good for party. You make a big pot here and serve. Oh, people will love it, guys. I made this one for my husband uh, friend party. Oh, they all love it, guys. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go eat my dinner, guys. I'm so hungry. Okay, guys, thank you guys for keep watching. Maru, I'll see you guys later. Bye.